Well, as you can probably hear, the bikes are beginning to warm up outside because we're here at Oxford Sandy Lane Stadium for another Conference League fixture when the Cheetahs will be taking on the Stoke Spitfires. Stoke, well, they haven't had the best of luck with weather up there, uh, having only ridden just one home fixture at the moment, but they've got a very solid side, led by Barry Ed of Evans and also including Australian Sam Doyle. But the Cheetahs are cock a hoop following a fantastic performance at Plymouth on Friday night when they only lost out by a mere point in the last heat decider and thus forced an aggregate draw in the KO Cup. So a replay in the Cup, but tonight it's league points at stake and the Cheetahs, although we're without Andrew Barge who was racing this afternoon uh, for the Isle of Wight up in Glasgow, well, they're confident that they can collect the two points. The sun is shining and that's good uh, to see in July because it's been a hellish month for weather. But I'm sure that it's going to be a cracking meeting once again. So let's get on with the action. And our thanks go to Brim Williams there, giving us the rundown on today's fixture. Well, we're having a look around the pits here. We can tell you Barry Evans, course former Conference League Riders Champion. John Brand, he gets plenty of experience riding in the Premier League up there for the Comets of Workington. The rest, well, Sam Dorr impressing all the time. Gary Flint seems to have been around a long time. And, uh, well, that means that they've got uh, plenty of experience in their side. But I don't know too much about the two down at reserves. James Picard and uh, Guy Kendris. It'll be interesting to see how they go around this circuit here. They are using rider replacement for Jack Hargreaves. Shame uh, Jack isn't here today. But I'm sure their team manager, John Adams, will have uh, plenty of ideas of what is going on. For the Cheetahs, well, they're beginning to find form. The skipper, Lee Smethills, at number one, of course, there. We know what he can do. And uh, Danny Betson improving all the time, being a very, very good signing for the home camp. Well, riding replacement for Andrew Barge. He's uh, riding for the Isle of Wight. So he's not here today. So it'll be interesting to see how the Islanders are getting on up there in uh, on the old Scotland. Got Sam Martin. Of course, he is the Berwick number eight these days and uh, rode against the Islanders last night and didn't score. Jordan Frampton. Well, he's been riding for the Rebels of Somerset and uh, getting big scores using this league very much as a confidence booster. And uh, certainly the teams who come visiting the uh, Cheetahs are suffering from it. Well, the two teams are going to come out on parade and uh, we'll let them do the official introductions down on the centre.
So with all the official introductions carried out, we can have a look around the crowd. There's a pretty good one here for this meeting today. They'll be uh, well pleased with that. And I'm sure Stoke would have brought a few fans down as well. So we're getting ready for heat number one. And remember the home side in the red and blue helmet colours. The visitors are in green and yellow. You get three for a win, two for a second, one for a third. Nothing if you come last. And it is uh, Lee Smithills and Danny Betson for the home side in red and blue. Barry Evans and Gary Flint riding green and yellow. And the sun really beaming down on us here at Cowley today and that really is nice to see. We haven't seen it too much this year in uh, any part of Britain, let alone here in Oxford. So here we go then, the riders at the line getting ready to go for the opening heat. The bikes were giving away the referee, Dave Watters, releases the tapes and away they go into the first turn. Good start there for Smethills. Smethills it is in front, Betson in second place. Go down the back straight into the bottom turn, into the sunshine there. And Betson go a little bit on the old wide side and uh, hanging in there. But it's still his teammate Smethills in front, Barry Evans back there in third place. Shadows on the top corner there. But uh, very, very bright is going to the bottom one. And again, Betson going very wide and he's in trouble and he's gone down there. And he's hooked up on the air fence. And the red lights have come on. Although it looks like the race is still going on. They are definitely on. But the riders have seen it now and they have stopped. And the uh, referee has put the blue exclusion light on for Danny Betson. So Betson excluded from the restart, which will have three riders only let's have another look and see what happened to Betson as he goes into the corner there and the news is coming through that he was blinded by the sunlight and you can see the little diamonds on their screen there showing exactly how bright it is so the uh, track is taking some attention we are going to have a slight break before we get underway with the action Well, we've had a 10 minute break here for the Sun to try and move around a little bit. The riders have agreed to go on. We can tell you the first heat was in fact awarded as a win for Lee Smethills. Second place to Barry Evans, third place to Gary Flint. Three points apiece. No time, no rerun. So let's go on with heat number two. George Piper and Brendan Johnson take on Jamie Pickard and Guy Kendrew. And away they go the charge for the first one good start for the visitors there and it is Jamie Picard who's gone in front Picard leading the way Johnson attacking on the outside going to the bottom turn the sun's still beaming down but it's not as bad as it was that is good start here for the Potters and well it was until the rider in yellow and inspected the uh, safety vents there but out in front no doubt about it Jamie Picard and uh, he's looking pretty impressive and again going wide on that fourth turn still in second place Brandon Johnson these two well ahead of the rider in red George Piper just signed for the cheaters comes from Paul in Dorset so they go around the bottom turn and Picard is being chased down here by Johnson the young 15 year old in the blue helmet in second place and oh he's left a gap there and Johnson waited and picked his moment and through he goes so Picard it is who's gone from first to second Brenton Johnson goes from second to first and over the line he goes for three two points go to Picard and one to George Piper and the rider in yellow uh, Guy Kendrew coming down there on the final lap so four points to two seven points to five sixty four point three that winning time So let's have a look at some of the action again from that one here. You can see it is uh, Johnson in the blue helmet and uh, Picard in green, green in front there. And a couple of times he went a little bit on the old wide side coming off the corners. And this time Johnson holds it tight, very tight. And as Picard goes towards the fence, there's the gap. Thanks very much.
So we're moving on then to heat number three. Danny Betson rides in red. Sam Martin is his partner in blue. John Branny rides in green. Sam Dorr is the rider in yellow. That's how they line up then for heat number three. Danny Betson taking the uh, rider replacement ride for Andrew Barge. And Sam Martin in the blue helmet. John Branny, vastly experienced at this level of speedway. Still very much a youngster though. So here we go, the green light is on. And away they go, and it's an interesting start. And it is Brandy here who's got away. They've got the rider in red. Betson comes right across very, very quick. Betson takes over the lead to go down the back straight into the bottom turn. Danny Betson it is in front. Second place at the moment, John Brandy, third place in the blue helmet. I think it is in fact it's yellow who's gone through there. That is Sam Dorr. And uh, Martin having a uh, party company with his machine is back up on it. But Betson in front looking very, very fast. The Potter's pairing tucked in behind him. And this one looking like it's going to be a shared heat. And many people, of course, fancy in Oxford for glory in this level. Of course, some very tough teams around, including Scunthorpe and Plymouth. And they've got to have that replay with Plymouth in the knockout cup still to come. So down the back straight once again into the bottom turn. Danny Betson from Howsham in Sussex. He's out in front and he's heading for three comfortable points, making up for heat number one. There he goes over the line. Second place goes to John Branny. Third place, Sam Dorr. Three to the Cheaters, three to the Spitfires. And that means the scores are now 10 to Oxford and 8 to Stoke. And really good to see all the races being sponsored here in the Conference League. Certainly, uh, Alan Trump doing a fine job here, and it really is good to see. He gets a lot of support from the Oxford SOS. And certainly, Saber Speedway has uh, been in full swing this year. So here we go then. Heat number four, Jordan Frampton rides in red. And uh, Brendan Johnson, it should be in blue, but it's George Piper. So it looks like there's going to be a change in this one. It is, in fact, uh, George Piper coming out in the blue helmet. In green, it is Jay Picard. James Picard. And in yellow, Guy Kendrew. So Picard taking the rider replacement ride. And away they go. And into the first turn. Good start here for the rider in red. And that is Jordan Frampton. Frampton, another one from Paul in Dorset, and they certainly do find a lot of good riders down there. And when you look at the Pirates team, mainly Australians, it's a pretty strange situation. But there is Jordan Frampton in front. Second place at the moment, still Picard. Third place, it is George Piper. At the back, it is Kendrew. So Frampton in his leading the way, still wearing, of course, the Lions race jackets, but I'm sure they will have some nice, sparkling new ones for. 2008. So into the bottom turn there is Frampton looking comfortable at the moment and second place there still it is Picard and third place no doubt about it it is George Piper so the uh, cheaters on a 4-2 in this one not too much excitement it must be said but I'm sure Jordan Frampton won't mind he's done that one at very much at a canter and the uh, other riders following home. So four points to two, 14 points to 10. We've had four of the 15 heats. The home side, four points to the good. And at the moment, the uh, home side looking to uh, get a victory here today, but they would need it by uh, quite a good margin to uh, take away to when they go up to Luma Road to take on the Potters or Spitfires, because it's the uh, junior team. So look around the crowd here and uh, good to see such a good crowd here on this uh, beautiful evening. And the sun is out, there's a cool breeze as well and I'm sure the bars are doing very, very nicely. So here we go then, heat number five, Jordan Frampton out again, Sam Martin in blue, Barry Evans is the rider in green, Gary Flint is the rider in yellow. That's how they line up then for the fifth of 15 heats. So 
interesting looking shadows on the safety fence there. So here we go, and away they go. And into the first turn. It's a good start from Frampton there in the red helmet. But Barry Evans screwing it on, coming round the outside. And it is Barry Evans who takes over the lead. Frampton dives on him, going into the corner there. And it is Frampton who comes out in front. So Jordan Frampton leading the way. Barry Evans in second place. Third place there in the blue helmet, Sam Martin. The race up front, and it's a cracker going on here with Frampton on the inside, Evans there in second place, tries to switch his line and switch back. And around the first and second turn, Barry Evans in the green helmet there, oh and he's locked up there, lost a lot of ground, Frampton has pulled away and well Jordan Frampton is looking for three points now. Still Evans in second place and uh, Barry Evans seems to have been around such a long time now and he really was the big kingpin of Conference League Speedway a couple of seasons ago and everybody thought he was going to go straight through the field and sadly it hasn't happened but he's riding for the Potters there of Stoke and the Spitfires of Stoke tonight as well but he couldn't catch Jordan Frampton so Frampton wins heat number five in a time of 62 to second place Barry Evans third place Sam Martin four points to two 18 points to 12 and at the moment things looking pretty good for the Oxford Cheaters Really was a good opening lap. Let's have another look and see exactly what happened on that lap because Evans and uh, Frampton are having a super old duel there. And there is uh, Frampton in front. And watch Evans here because he powers round the outside. Now this is a brave corner because he comes across there and Frampton, having none of it, just goes right through the inside of him. Super fast. So work being carried on the track here and there's certainly uh, plenty of dirt on the surface you can see that and uh, of course a lot of speedway tracks these days are very very slick but this certainly isn't one of them so let's move on to heat number seven Lee Smithills rides in red Danny Betson in blue John Branny in green and James Picard is the rider in yellow so John Branny taking the rider replacement ride James Picard coming in for a extra ride there as well In fact, it is his own program right and away. They go into the first turn and it is Smethills who's made a good start there. Smethills in front and uh, Betson has gone with him into the bottom turn. Betson it is in front. Smethills tucked in behind him in second place. Third place there in the green helmet. It is John Branny and Oxford beginning to take control of the meeting. Around the top turn there. And Danny Betson, well clear of the field here. Second place at the moment in the red helmet there, Lee Smithills. And John Branny giving it a go in third place, but it's looking pretty good for the home side. Around the top turn, and now Branny beginning to gain on. Oh, it's got awfully tight there, and he really got a rough end of the old stick there from Lee Smithills, who just shook him off, literally. So into the top turn, Danny Betson, he's going to win it at a canter, but the real race was going on behind him, and it was Smithills who was having none of it when it got a little bit too tight there, and he takes second place with, in third place, John Branny. Five points to Oxford, one point to Stoke, 23-13 the scores after six heats. So there was some hard riding there, but there's a shake of the hands, and that's what you... Uh, want to see in the sport they're certainly not going to say after you and here comes uh, Lee Smethills and uh, maybe we can have another look at that incident there because it really did get very very tight so we pick it up here watch the rider in red now because as he goes down the back straight you see John Branny really does close in on him here and he goes right out wide and it looks like he's found a gap round the outside and oh, he's got the back wheel have a look at that So move on then to heat number seven and John Branny comes out for a tactical ride where in a black and white hat and that's because his team are nine or more behind there are ten behind so he can come out try and reduce the arrears any points he gets in front of a cheater would count 
doubles. If he won it, he'd get six. And if he was second, he'd get four, third, two. That's if he's in front of a cheetah at the time. So he's lining up against Jordan Frampton in red, Brennan Johnson in blue, his teammate and partner on the inside, Sam Dor. So here we go then, 23-13 the scores. The starting marshal, Peter Green, walks away. And away they go and a charge for the first turn. And it is Frampton who's gone in front. Frampton leading the way and Dor coming round the outside of him here. And it is Sam Dor who's gone in front here. So quite a surprise on the card. Sam Dor leading the way. Perhaps they put the black and white hat on the wrong rider. But he's leading the way. Second place there, Frampton. Up to now, he's uh, been unbeaten by a visitor. And in third place there, still chasing hard, it is John Brainy in that black and white hat. So he's on two points at the moment. And if he could find a way past Frampton, the Spitfires here could be buzzing for some big points. So down the back straight. And, uh, well, Frampton there holding it tighter. And uh, oh, a real face full of dirt there for John Branny. So John Branny there in third place. Still giving it a go. But Sam Dor out in front for the Spitfire. So uh, Stoke are on a heat advantage here. But it would only be a 2-5 if it should stay like this. And that is exactly what it does. Because Frampton has held on for the second place position. So a win for Sam Dor, second place Jordan Frampton, third place getting two points was John Branny. No points there for uh, Brendan Johnson. So two points to five, 25 18 the scores after seven heats. So we get ready then for heat number eight. Danny Betson rides in red, Brendan Johnson. He's out again, this time in the blue helmet. Riding in green is Gary Flint and in yellow. Now looking to see who it is in yellow. It is Guy Kendrew there. Certainly uh, not using uh, Jamie Picard in this one. And uh, Picard has been uh, pretty impressive so far. Picked up uh, four points. Here we go though. Oh, and a regular old start there, but it's the rider in green who's gone into the turn in first place. That is Gary Flint, and he's been, oh, look at this here. Betson just absolutely flew past him. So Betson it is in front. Flint in second place, third place at the moment. Brandon Johnson looking for a gap up on the inside at the back there in yellow. It's Guy Kendrew. So the Cheetahs on a 4-2 at the moment. Danny Betson looking on fire today. He's well out in front. And he'd be hoping to bring down some of the Spitfires and nip him through there. Brendan Johnson into second place. Good pass there from Johnson. Third place at the moment, Gary Flint, who led this race at one stage. So Oxford beginning to pile up the points here. They're on a 5-1. And this would put them 11 in front. So around the bottom turn there, Danny Betson the youngster goes over the line for three points two points there go to Brendan Johnson good second place for the 15 year old and third place there going to Gary Flint five points to one 30 points to 19 the scores after eight heats Well, Danny Betson uh, done it the easy way after the second turn, but let's have a look and see the pass here for Brendan Johnson because it was quite a brave old one. He kept plugging away and the gap was left up the inside and he tried to dive through and the door was uh, blocked on him this time. But then as they go down the back straight here, you can see Flint is under pressure. So Johnson moves out wide and there's the cut back up the inside. There's the gap and there's the pass. Heat number nine, Lee Smethills takes the right of replacement ride for Andrew Barge in the red helmet. Sam Martin rides in blue. In green, it's a right of replacement ride for Barry Evans. And Jamie Picard is the rider in yellow, but it is Lee Smethills who's got away there. Smethills, it is in front, and Sam Martin 
has gone right around the outside of Barry Evans and once again the Cheetahs in pole position go around the first and second turn and Sam Martin improving with every race Barry Evans back there in third place I was saying earlier expect a lot more from Barry these days but he really isn't uh, on form at the moment around that first and second turn down the back straight still Martin in second place from Barry Evans but well out in front Lee Smithers and interesting to note that all the uh, rider replacement rides so far have produced wins so uh, well that's what it's meant to be about the rest of the team covering for your yeah, number one and as they head for the checkered flag comfortable win for Smithers second place there goes to Martin third place to Barry Evans it's a second successive 5-1 and that means the scores are now Oxford on 35 and Stoke on 20. And 61.6 the winning time, not the fastest one of the night. That went in heat number 6. That was 61.2. So here we go then, move on to heat number 10. And riding in the red helmet, it is Lee Smethills. His partner in blue is Danny Betson. In green, John Branny. In yellow, Sam Dor. Dor was a winner last time out. So this could make it very, very interesting. So here we go then. The starting marshal calling them into place for the 10th heat. The home side almost home and dry. And Betson has flown away from the start there. So Betson, it is in front, second place there, coming round in the red helmet, Lee Smethills, and Oxford on another 5-1 here, and this would all but sum up the points. So round the first and second turn, Betson, other than that full first time out, has been in tremendous form. And uh, looking the part here, certainly uh, becoming a new hero, for the Cheetah supporters, second place there, Lee Smithers, the skipper, he won't mind, he's going to paid win. And in third place at the moment, Barry Evans. So Oxford, under the guidance of Peter Oakes, their team manager, looking very, very comfortable at the moment. Third place at the moment still. John Branny at the back, it is Sam Dor, but it's been a comfortable one for the Cheetahs here. And Danny Betson looks over both his shoulders, cruises over the line for three points. Two points to Smethers, one to Branny, five points to one. Oxford now disappearing over the horizon. They have 40 points and Stoke have 21. Go straight into heat number 11. Jordan Frampton rides in red. George Piper is his partner in blue. Barry Evans rides in green. And Gary Flint is the rider in yellow. That's how they line up then for this heat here. Heat number 11. 11 of 15. So the starting marshals got them at the line ready to go. Movement from Frampton there, but he's missed the start, and that has allowed Barry Evans to shoot away. And it's Evans in front here. So now we should have a race on our hands. So Barry Evans leading the way. Jordan Frampton in second place. The sun still beaming down on us here at Cowley. Totally shining on Oxford tonight. But Evans in front from Frampton in second place, third place at the moment. It is Gary Flint and Piper attacking on the outside and Piper's found a way past him there. Good ride from the youngster into third place. But Evans in front, a mile clear of the others, although he's gone very, very wide there. Still Frampton in second place, but there's about five or six bike lengths between them. And then there's a very big gap back to Piper in third place. 
tightly around the first and second turn. Evans holding it tight. This circuit no bigger than that one up there at Luma Road. So he certainly knows how to ride it. Perhaps the uh, bends are not quite as tight at uh, this track here. But Evans has won it. Three to him. Two points go to Frampton. One point goes to Piper. No points there to Flint. And that means it's a three all. Three points to Oxford. Three points to Stoke. Levin Heats have been raced and that means 43 points to the Cheetahs and 24 to the Spitfires. So Barry Evans coming round to the applause of the crowd and uh, well only the second heat winner for the Potters side and let's have a look at him there he goes into the first turn and they go round the back straight there and you can see Flint is in third place Piper is at the back there but Barry Evans really just racing away but the real race is going on in last position and that is where George Piper here grabs a handful and he goes right round the outside of Flint there that really is a smooth pass as you're likely to see nice one there for the youngster So tactical substitute in heat number 12 and Barry Evans will go off of the 15 metre handicap. So we've got Sam Martin taking the rider replacement ride in the red helmet. His partner in blue, Brendan Johnson. In green it is John Branny. Now they're going to be hoping that Branny can get out the gate and slow the race up. Barry Evans will start 15 metres back. So this is going to be an interesting race here because he's riding for double points but he does have to catch and pass one of the Oxford riders for his points to count double. So here we go then the green lights on and away they go and into the first turn it is John Branny who's gone in front. So Branny leading the way Sam Martin in second place third place there it is Brendan Johnson and here comes Evans and he's made up the 15 meters very very quick here and he's cutting back up on the inside here now can he find a way past Brendan Johnson and now he's going out in the dirt again trying that switch back there's the gap up the inside and through he goes he's made up 15 meters on Johnson and now he's going to go after Sam Martin meanwhile out in front it is the rider in green John Branny leading the way Sam Martin still in second place going to the bottom turn there and Martin going out in the dirt here and he is gaining on Branny at the same time that Evans is gaining on him there and it's getting very very exciting so down the back straight into the bottom turn this is where the race is three of them here not that far apart but it's going to be the rider in green John Branny who takes a sec the checkered flag there second place Sam Martin and third place picking up two points it is Barry Evans so it's another 5-2 to the visitors the same as the last one they used the black and white hat on and it does reduce the arrears a little bit it's now 45 points to Oxford and 29 to the Stoke Spitfires to have a look at some of the action again there Barry Evans at the back looking for the gap up the inside and there he goes straight through So the riders on the circuit then for heat number 13. Lee Smethills rides in red. Jordan Frampton is his partner in blue. Barry Evans in green. And Sam Dorr is the rider in yellow. That's how they line up then for heat number 13. Sam Dorr taking the rider replacement ride. So here we go. The top four riders out there today, and away they go into the first turn. And it's Evans who's gone in front, and Smethill's coming round the outside of him here. And Evans being passed by Jordan Frampton as well. Frampton goes right across the front of Evans this time, and it is Oxford one and two. Well, last time the Spitfires got a five two, Oxford slept in three five ones. There's only three races to go, including this one, and they're on a five one in it. So Smethills in front, 
Second place, Jordan Frampton. Third place at the moment, Barry Evans. At the back, Sam Dor. No heroics from him this time. Now into the bottom turn, and Lee Smithers, still unbeaten by a visiting rider, doing a real captain's job. Jordan Frampton, he's only dropped uh, one point, I believe it is. He's in second place. And it's going to be another heat advantage in the 5-1 order for the home side. And they now lead by 50 points to 30 with two heats remaining. So Lee Smithills so far on a paid 15 point maximum. Jordan Frampton going pretty well there as well. He has in fact dropped two points. But he's uh, looking the part here. And uh, Barry Evans. Well, it's been a long, old, busy night for Barry. So we're getting ready then for the penultimate heat. Heat number 14. And riding in red, Sam Martin. Sam's partner in blue, George Piper. In green, Sam Dor. And in yellow, Jamie Picard. So Picard picked up four points from his first two races and has uh, not scored since so let's see how he can go in this one here he's got Sam Martin and George Piper young George on uh, three points so far and one bonus with it so here we go then an ultimate heat and away they go and into the first turn good start there for the rider in red Sam Martin so Martin in his in front. Second place at the moment. Have a look down there. Well, there's Martin. And it's the rider in green. And that is Sam Dor. So Dor in second place. Third place at the moment it is Picard. George Piper is at the back this time. So we're looking at a shared heat. And I'm sure the Oxford fans won't mind. They've seen their team go to a convincing win here on a warm old evening a nice cool breeze at the Potters a team from the Potteries I should say the Spitfires have uh, been well beaten by a very compact Oxford side so around the top turn there is Sam Martin heading over the line for three points two points go to Dorr and one point goes to Jamie Picard. Three points to Oxford. Three points to Stoke. And the Cheetahs have 53. The Spitfires have 33. And donut time here from Sam Martin. I could use him instead of a tractor for the grading. So here we go then, the final heat. Heat number 15, Jordan Frampton rides in red. Danny Betson in blue. Betson unbeaten other than a fall, first time out. John Branny in the green helmet. Barry Evans is the rider in yellow. That's how they line up then for heat number 15, the final race of the evening. And it's certainly uh, been an interesting one. So here we go then, the starting marshal calling them into place for the final time. And away they go, and it's a good start there for Barry Evans. So Evans and is in front, and look at Frampton there, and Betson has gone down on the first turn there. And let's have another look at it. The red lights have come on, the race has been stopped. Now watch the rider on the outside here, Danny Betson. Because they're going to the corner, and whoa! <laughs> Maybe, just maybe a touch there, but uh, the referee giving him the uh, verdict and all four riders can come back to the line. So Danny, long old walk back to the pits from that uh, first turn, but he has done so and he's back on his machine and the riders are at the line getting ready to go for the restart here of the 15th heat. So the starting marshal calling them into place to get this heat underway. 
the lineup then. John Branny on the inside gate, gate number one. Jordan Frampton on gate number two. Barry Evans on gate number three. And Danny Betson in the blue helmet on the outside gate, gate number four. Here we go. And away they go. It's an interesting start as they hit the first turn. It is Frampton again who's gone in front. Frampton leading the way from Evans in second place. Third place at the moment. It is John Branny in green. Betson switching to the inside. Can he find a way through? It's getting awfully tight there. He's gone through into third place. So Frampton leading the way from Evans. And now Betson is going like a man possessed. He's really gunning for Evans there in second place. Evans meanwhile going after Frampton out in front and at the back John Branny so around the first and second turn and Evans holding it very very tight this time but Frampton has got his wheels in line and here comes Betts and can he find a way through on the inside here and he's really giving it a go here and Evans knows he's got a real tiger on his tail or should I say a cheetah there because Betson is really gunning for him and now Evans is going after Frampton into the top turn super race probably the best one of the night so far here and Evans is going to find a way around the outside or is he no he is not it was awfully tight there at the finish but it was a win for Jordan Frampton second place Barry Evans and third place was Danny Betson super race to finish with and it finishes with a 4-2 to the cheaters of Oxford who win the match against the Stoke Spitfires the team from Luma Road by 57 points to 35. Well, it's been an interesting meeting. There's uh, been one or two incidents and a couple of good races as well. And probably none better than the last one there. So there is uh, Danny Betson. He didn't get the uh, unbeaten rides. And, uh, well, just uh, having a check to make sure he's okay. Picked up his uh, chain guard, which came off. But, uh, Let's have a look at some of the action there because it was an interesting start. As we go into the corner here, watch this here because there is Betson at the back. Evans it is in second place. John Brady there. Now watch how tight this gets because it really is quite a squeeze out there as Betson goes through into third place. Super race to finish with. So with a final score of 57 to 35, let's go through the scores. We start with the cheaters. Lee Smethers paid 15 point maximum, 13 and 2. Danny Petson scored 13. Right of replacement for Andrew Barge. Sam Martin, 8 and 1 bonus. Jordan Frampton, 15 and 1 bonus. George Piper, 3 and 1 bonus. And Brendan Johnson, 5 and 1 bonus. A total of 57 there. And the SAS Potters of... Stoke and it says spotters on there. There, of course, is Spitfires. Uh, Barry Evans 13 from seven. Gary Flint two and one. John Brenny nine. Sam Dor six and one. Riding replacement for young Jack Hargreaves at number five. Jamie Pickard five and one. And Guy Kendrew failed to score. Total of 35. That's just about it from Saul here at the Cowley Stadium. We leave you with the victorious Oxford Cheaters from Ken Burnett and everyone else here. Good night.